Hi, my name is Alex Hoss. I'm working at Autodesk. I'm here at the AMD Fire Pro booth at IBC 2014. I'm showing our animation products, so this is all the entertainment creation suite. I'm pretty excited because I uh, got to play around with one of these new AMD Fire Pro graphic boards and I was just, uh, well, triggering around with some of the customer scenes which I received from our Paris-based studio Enki. It's a commercial spot. As you can see, we have a lot of like furry apes running around in Paris playing a, a game on the smartphone. So, so that's really impressive. We have a lot of texture quality in there, displacement, fur, all that full-blown stuff which really needs the, the, the graphic power and the graphic memory. That's kind of the most important thing here uh, to, to make that happen. So uh, let me swap over into one of the tools here. So uh, what I really, really love to show is our Mudbox sculpting and texturing application. This was kind of the heart to get all the details in these, for these apes up and running. And the, the key here is that we're working with multiple 4, 4K and 2K textures. So, well, it's, it's really, going, really going deep. You need a lot of graphic memory to, to do that. And all these details we see on that ape, they are actually, well, they are modeled, they are sculpted with a Wacom tablet. So you can just dive in here and go onto a sculpting layer, add some extra detail by selecting your tool and um, maybe your sculpting brush in that case. So, and then I can dive in here and add additional detail. I'm just doing like a rough patch here to, to give you some extra idea on, so, on some detail I can paint into certain areas of that face. And again, the, the feedback here is quite impressive. It's all read time. We have multiple textures and shaders going on at the same time, like diffuse mappings, normal maps, bump maps. That's all possible in that product. Uh, as soon as you are yeah, able to, uh, to handle that amount of textures and uh, geometry. The same thing inside of 3ds Max. Here we have Alembic caches working for all the animation of these apes. Uh, so it's about you know, caching huge, amount of, huge amounts of data. And this is kind of the theme this year for all the Autodesk Entertainment products. We have Bifrost caching, fluid simulation in Maya. Uh, we have Alembic inside of 3ds Max. All of these simulations process and create a huge amount of data, which you need to be able to handle. So it's not only up to the, the hard drive, but also to the graphic boards to be able to, to achieve that. Uh, let's hop over into Maya just to give you one small additional scene on that uh, coffee table here. So I exported some portions of that over into Maya. I'm having it at the same, uh, on the same PC on the right hand side. I'm running two screens with um, I think 2K resolution, so it's 2560 five, two resolution. And we have the Bifrost simulation going right here. And it's all playing up in, in super real time with that high density cloud mesh and fluid simulation. So I'm pretty excited, not only for the product, but uh, for, for the runtime and speed I'm, I'm receiving here. So uh, yeah, thanks for your time. Have a great IBC, everyone. Cheers.